A list of the parts needed can be found in the Super Spring Skill Build Guide found on TeacherGeek.com under Documents. For this kit, you will need a pair of our TeacherGeek multi-cutters and one of our TeacherGeek reamers. Components and free documents for this activity are available at TeacherGeek.com. The TeacherGeek construction system allows you to build almost any mechanism you can imagine using two simple tools. The dowels and connector strips can be easily cut to size using our TeacherGeek multi-cutter. But don't use the multi-cutter to cut metal because you'll ruin the blade. Most of our TeacherGeek components come with holes that dowels just press into. Just twist the reamer back and forth to ream out a hole. Reaming out a hole will make it so it no longer holds a dowel. So don't ream out holes you want dowels to stay pressed into. Only ream out holes you want dowels to slide or rotate in. The first step is to cut two pieces of connector strip. Make sure that the sections of connector strip you have have seven holes in them. Cut a dowel to 150 millimeters, which is 6 inches. Since you're cutting in the middle, you should have two pieces of dowel that are the same size. Push or tap the dowels into the connector strip section that you cut. Then go ahead and push the other end of the dowels into the other connector strip section. Cut a small piece of slide stop, about 6 millimeters, and then place it on the end of a full dowel. Now take your connector strip and cut another section that has only 3 holes in it. Take a rubber band and cut it so you have a straight section. Take your rubber band and place the end through the connector strip section with 3 holes, and then go ahead and hold it off to the side. Take your dowel and place it through that same hole. Using your reamer, clean out the center hole of both of your seven hole connector strip sections. Taking your full dowel with the rubber band on it, place it through the holes that you reamed out. Then place your rubber band through the hole next to your dowel. Place your rubber band through the same hole on the opposite connector strip. Take an adapter pin and place it into the hole with the rubber band to hold the rubber band in place. Using the piece of wire that's provided or a paper clip, go ahead and bend it into an S hook. Place your hook onto your three hole connector strip section. Now you need to add graduations to your scale. You can go ahead and make your own or print it off of our website at www.teachergeek.com. Just tape the piece of paper onto your scale. And finally, place a mark on your dowel near the top of your paper. Now your spring scale is done, you're ready to measure. The spring scale can be used under tension or compression. You can pull or hang stuff off the end of your spring scale. You could also push objects to see how much force it would take to move them. Or you could pull objects to see how much force it would take to move.